everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is christine kavanda if you are new to this channel karibu sana and please consider subscribing to this channel because this is the only channel where you get to learn different tips on how to handle different situations or different tips on how to cook different phones and today guys i'm in the kitchen and i want to be cooking with you chapati today we're gonna be cooking chapati and as you can see here guys this is what i will be using to cook over chapati so guys i hope i hope guys i'm clear enough and i hope you can be able to see me well because we will be interacting a lot and a lot so guys i want to start preparing or kneading the wheat flour so that we can have it ready for chapati so guys can we do it together but i forgot to mention that i am cooking uh pumpkin chapatis guys not only the chapatis but pumpkin chapatis and like i've showed you this is the pumpkin and what i will be doing with this pumpkin i will blend it i will blend it guys so just let's see how it goes so guys i want to blend this so that we can mix it with our wheat flour and see the end product so kindly watch this video until the end so that you can learn on how to cook uh pumpkin chapatis i believe that they will be yummy and i will make sure that i make them to be super for you guys so using sugar but i don't put a lot but mostly i normally put sugar and i also put some little little salt know that the ride or die i keep boys by my seat know that the ride or die i keep boys by my seat uh, we also put the warm water i normally use warm water so that our chapati is gonna be soft but not hard so guys for if you want to know the secret of making soft sub chapatis uh just use warm water and you will see the end product will be super i will not be using any measurements because i'll just mix kienyeji I will not use any measurements but I don't want to cook a lot of chapatis but I'll just do a little bit of them but um, at least you'll get to understand how it is done and uh, I've never done it before but I believe whatever I'm going to do that somebody will learn from me. I also use margarine for chapatis but I will not be using a lot of it but just a little bit of it instead of using oil i like using margarine So this is our pumpkin and at this point Thank you. 
here we have the duff is ready and what i want to do now is that i want to leave it for like uh, i'll just leave it for like uh, 10 minutes before i start working on it so use this and leave it there for like um, a maximum a minimum of a maximum of 10 minutes i think a maximum of 10 minutes will work for me i wanted to use this but i'm not able to find the end but um let me just use this it's more or less the same as long as it is um covered so guys uh, we will be waiting for 10 minutes then after 10 minutes i will continue so guys i'm back again as you can see this is our duck wow it looks nice so nice as you can see the oil or cooking it fully Party for you. Yes. What do you want? Chapo. You want chapatis? Yes. Can you give me some few minutes? I finish cooking. Guys, when you're cooking chapatis, just give them time to to cook. You see, like this one. Just look at this. This is very well cooked. Just give some ch your chapatis time to cook well, so that they 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 come out very well cooked, even inside. Uh, sometimes I see some people just uh, removing the chapatis from the pans. 
when they are not well done, when they are not well cooked. And um, it's just a matter of giving a chapati time to cook well, to turn brown, golden brown actually. Don't wait for it to kungwa, to turn black, but at least it should turn golden. golden. Keep on checking whether it has turned golden and when it is now golden like this, now you can turn. But what is most important is to give your chapati some time to cook well. That is to, to cook well. So if you hurry up or if you don't give your chapati time, they will not be well cooked. Sitakuwa uh, bichi and our target here is to get yummy chapatis which are well cooked. So you can see I'm giving my chapatis time to cook and I'm also checking whether they are well cooked uh, rather than hurling up. I don't want to hurry up because at the end of the day, I want something smart like this, you see? Yeah. Sometimes because of using a lot of unga when you are rolling your chapatis, uh, the frying pan will become dirty. Come and check. Would you just show them? You see like now this one, eh? you see the pan has started becoming dirty, so what I normally do, I just pour some water on it before I continue cooking, so that I can remove the flour that is there. This is what makes the chapati dirty when you are cooking, so you should make sure that your pan is also very clean when you are cooking. So whenever you realize that your pan is becoming but dirty or it's getting dirty, you are supposed to just remove it, pour some water on it so that it is left clean and so that the chapatis that you are cooking, they will come out clean. So guys, if you are there and you have been wondering why are my chapatis been uh, so dirty when I'm cooking, know that the flour that is burning, the flour that is here on the pan is what makes chapatis to become dirty and also they contribute to chapatis um, what do we call kungu in English? <laughs> that is over burning where they become black black eh? it also contributes, the flour that is on the pan that is burning on the pan also contributes in, uh, to that so to ensure that um, you are getting clean chapatis you need to wash your pan just by pouring water and your pan is clean again but it is always uh, recommended not to use a lot of flour when you're running with me I realized I used a lot of flour and I was so certain that this pan will keep on getting dirty because of the flour that I used but I knew I will keep on cleaning my pan so like now just to show them that my pan is very dirty as you can see and what I will do I'll just pour some water on it to ensure that uh, it's not dirty you see now it is clean. I will continue to cook my chapati. So I wait for this water to dry so that I can continue to cook because I want to achieve clean chapatis. There is a lot of hunger. When I was rolling, I used a lot of hunger and realized that. And so I need, at the end of the day, I will get that chapatis. And so to avoid that, I need to keep on cleaning my pan. So guys, hope you understand what I mean. Finally guys, I'm through with cooking my chapatis as you can see. I talked of rays. These are, as you can see, they are yellow first because of the pumpkin or the merengue as you used to call it. And as you can see, they are in form of rays. Uh, this is the reason as to why I was, well, it's hot guys, 
I was folding and I want to taste and hear and feel if my chapatis are yummy. Mmm, so yummy. Mm -hmm. Even if I'm not an expert, I know I cook good chapatis and I love them. These are chapatis that you can eat without tea because they are so yummy. As you can see, the yellow part of it is so so nice and as you can see guys this chapati is very soft as you see you can see it's very soft it's very soft it's so it's, it's that it's hot eh? so guys these are my chapatis so i'm not an expert like i'm saying but i know i have made some good chapatis and people will enjoy it Mm. Mm. The capping of sugar and the salt plus that merengue there. Yeah. Mm. The chapatis are very yummy. So guys, thank you so much. Mm. Mm. The chapatis are so yummy. So thank you guys for watching my video and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, guys, please, I beg you, this round I'm begging you, let me give you time first to subscribe. Yes, just subscribe, guys, just support my channel and I will really, really appreciate it. Remember, like I said, this is the only channel where you get to learn different tips on how to had a different situations today. You front out to cook pumpkin chow parties, guys. So to batane kwa meza to kikula. Thank you.